Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video on East Coast Manga. So today we're going to be talking about one of the most miserable experiences I've ever had when purchasing manga. And this is not coming from a seller, this is not Makari, this is not Cat P. This is coming from a legitimate website named Amazon. But not US Amazon, Amazon Italy. And you might be thinking, well, what did I purchase? What can I possibly purchase from Amazon Italy? Some of you guys may know, some of you guys may not know. Let me show you. So this right here is what I purchased from Amazon Italy. This is a Gone box set. It's a manga box set. Basically the backstory, make sure you keep watching this video because don't don't just <laughs> don't listen to me talk about this and then go out and purchase it. Do not buy this at literally unless you live in Italy, do not buy this product. So basically, this is a wordless manga. There's no words other than the chapter titles, so it doesn't matter what language you buy it in. In English, they are rare. The artwork's incredible for the series, but the English prints are very rare to find, so some of them go for a lot of money. So Italy has manga, and this is a super sick box set that Amazon, that they did for the series. Now, as you can see, it has like a tail and everything. It's, it's very, very cool. It's also not that expensive. It's about, uh, I think, 55 euros, but shipping is like, 20 euro so it comes close or maybe a little under that either way it comes close to like 65 70 dollars for this box set so it is expensive but it's also pretty unique it's pretty cool and i thought i was going to be getting a good product so let me go step by step in basically the process of the first box that came which is actually right here to the second box that came and then to the third box that came so i was hoping you know Purchasing this, Manga Unboxed I was actually the first one to purchase it. He kind of talked me into getting it. it. I wasn't on board at first. It sounded kind of weird. And then I saw the artwork and it looked incredible. So I'm like, all right, this is super sick. I'm going to get it. It's cool also kind of as like a collector's piece. But in the back of my mind, I'm kind of like, well, what if you know, what if it comes damaged, like it's gonna be a pain to ship it back, you know, it's probably gonna cost like $20 or something like that, it's a lot more than $20, but we'll get into that in just a minute, and I'm like, I just hope it comes comes in good condition, so I go on Amazon Italy, which there's no English, so you have to translate it, but uh, Google Chrome has, like, it basically has this extension where you can translate things, so I used that, I checked out Amazon, which, again, we'll kind of get into this later, because this is a, a huge part later on, Amazon is not connected so there's different Amazons so there's Amazon US Amazon UK and then there's Amazon IT which is Amazon Italy so you gotta purchase those on Amazon IT they don't sell them on any of the other Amazon websites but it's extremely easy Amazon is Amazon so you just basically put your, your information in you check out and you're done uh, they ship it DHL or another shipping company but I've gotten two, two DHLs and then one from some other random company. So let me show you the first box that I got. So this was the first box set that I got. It's ha It has some damage to it, and I, did, I, I don't like damage when things are like retail, when I buy them full price, especially paying like way over than what this is actually worth because of shipping being so expensive. Uh, so let me show you the damage real quick. So, so hopefully you guys can see this, but uh, the top is ripped right here. The tail, well, let me show you this real quick, but this is the box set. It's, it's pretty darn cool. It's three books. This is the tail right here, which is ripped. The top corner right here is ripped. The well is like kind of a little smashed and dented. And then the bottom, which is like one of the more worrying, wor worrisome things, is also ripped right here because I don't want to pick it up one day and the bottom just fall out, which uh, it definitely can because I'll show you another box in just a minute. But I'm like, okay, this is not the worst damage, but I'm still pissed off because this is Amazon. I paid, like I said, over uh, what it's worth and I want one in good condition, like both Manga Unboxed and um, someone else who bought this, I can't remember who it is, theirs came perfect. No issues, no rips, no nothing. So I'm like, honestly, I'm kind of jealous. So I paid my money, I want, a, you know, I want a good condition box set. So I went ahead and did the return. I thought shipping was gonna go, was gonna cost like 20, 20 bucks or something like that, maybe 25 because it was like, I don't know, under 20 euro or around 20 euro on Amazon. Boy, was I wrong. So. Uh, basically, after I did that, I eventually found out that shipping is going to cost $60, very close to what I paid for the product. So I hit up Amazon, I'm like, hey, listen, like, if I ship this back, are you guys going to cover this? And to be honest, I, I'm making this video because I want this to get out as soon as possible. I don't want you guys to buy this. I don't want you guys to risk this. I don't know what they're going to do yet. They said that they're going to refund me for what I paid to ship it, but at the same time, that's 60 bucks, and then I have another box I need to return, which is gonna be another 60 dollars. 
I don't know if they're going to put it back on like one of my cards or if they're going to give me like Amazon credits, which would suck if it's just IT credits because they're literally useless. So that, that'll be an update I'll, I'll provide you guys at a later time. But like I said, I just want to get this out now. But either way, I've basically come down to the factor of like, I don't know what they're going to do with it, but I've already paid $60 out of pocket, out of my own uh, that. I might not fully get back. And if I do, I might get in credits. And some of you guys may think that's dumb, but at the same time, I, you know, they said when I was in the virtual chat that they would refund me, so I have the script from that. But let me get down to why you don't ever want to re return these aside from the fact that it costs $60 out of your pocket to return them. They do not have any form of English when it comes to customer service, which is kind of crazy. You know, if, if you're shopping from a place in Italy, you wouldn't expect uh, English customer service, but because it's Amazon, you would think that, you know, a US based company that's so ginormous would have at least like some form of being able to communicate in English. And I'm saying that because if you contact other, you know, let's say you buy something from Amazon uh, India, they have a ton of English representatives who can speak to you because I actually ended up talking to someone from uh, Amazon India, but the Amazons are not connected. So if you talk to someone on Amazon US or Amazon India or Amazon UK, they cannot access your account if it's Amazon, if it's another Amazon, if that makes sense. So Amazon.com cannot connect to Amazon.it. So I got super frustrated because I'm like, I don't know what to do to be able to even contact someone. So then I just, I'm like, you know what? Let me just try to Google Translate and do a live chat. So that's exactly what I did. I just Google translated basically word for word what I needed to say throughout the entire chat, copy and pasted it, threw it in. The customer service people were very, very nice. And like I said, I'm hoping they stay true to their word and will be able to refund me. I just don't know if they're going to refund me actual money or Amazon credits because like I didn't use, like, I don't know if they can put money on my card if it's not like a refund or something like that. I, I don't know if they're going to check. I have no idea. But once again, you guys will be updated for that. But let's get on to the second box that came. Now, I don't have this box because I already returned it. Basically, it came super damaged. If I can find some pictures, I'll show them. But it came way more damaged in the first box. So I said, you know what? Let me ship back the second box before I ship back the first box. So instead of shipping back the first box, I just shipped back the second box because it's the same exact product. It's just that one was more damaged. So I obviously wanted to keep the one that was less damaged. And you guys may be thinking, wow, I'm crazy for what I'm about to do. Um, but I, I just went ahead and did it. I requested another return after talking to a another live chat representative. And she basically convinced me, listen, you're going to get your money back. It's fine. We'll take care of it. Uh, we'll send you out another one and you know, whatever, whatever. So you know what? I said, sure, send me out another one. And incredibly, packages came in bad condition or I would say moderately bad condition. Some people wouldn't even say this is an issue. This isn't, the first box was an issue to me because I bought it for retail, like I said, but you got that one I was not a huge fan of. The second one came even more damage. The third one, which I have right here sitting next to me, just came today. It's come the worst. It's the worst. It is just progressively gotten more and more terrible. Let me show you. So this is our beautiful box set right here. To start off, the tail, tail's actually pretty good. I, I wish I could detach this tail, throw it on the other one. Unfortunately, it doesn't, doesn't work like that. Uh, but let's start with the top. So the top, we got a nice big rip right here. Uh, hopefully you guys are able to see that. There's also a rip right here. Let's see. Okay, I think you guys should be able to see that now. So rip up top rip right here. Uh, the biggest issue though is what I'm afraid of with the first box set. The bottom is literally falling off. It is, as you can see, completely ripped. It just has this little last strand right here that's keeping the bottom in place. It's also ripped. Let me see. I mean, there's, there's just a huge flap right here. It's, it's, all of this is ripped throughout. It's also pretty banged up and, and dented, but I mean, that, I'm, I'm not really that like that that doesn't bother me compared to these rips these are just absolutely insane and listen I know some of you guys are like wow like that's still not even that bad like as long as the books aren't damaged or whatever but you're paying for the full pack and you're paying almost seventy dollars for this three volume box set from a company that was founded on selling books and maybe some of you guys are also thinking okay well this is a internet this is international shipping it has to go such a far away obviously it's gonna get banged up a little bit once again the other two box sets that I know I've seen them uh, didn't get banged up from the two people who I know who bought them 
uh, before I did. And also, the packaging is terrible. So this is the box right here. I'm not gonna show the front because I don't have the, st I have the sticker still on. But this is the box right here. It fits basically perfectly around the box. There's no room, so you can't fit any padding. Uh, they just put the box in here. So anytime the box, this box gets banged up, the actual box in the inside gets banged up. Not only that, but like, this is legitimately how it came. I just cut open the top. Look at that. This is how the box was shipped. Now, if you had padding around it, if you had a little, just a little, a little bigger box and put some padding around it, it would be perfectly fine. It would ship fine. But because there's no padding, they give it no space, the box just gets destroyed. It gets smashed. So either way, because I ordered this, I still have to return one of these boxes. Obviously, it's going to be the, the newest one. I'm not doing this again. I'm done. I'm finished. I'm just going to keep this one. I, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm probably just going to put some tape over it or something. Uh, and just call it a day. It's extremely disappointing. It's gonna be disappointing to even look at because I know it's not in the condition that I wanted in. But you know what, maybe if I find myself in Italy, you know, I'll be able to get this. I know at one time when COVID was happening, I mean, plane, plane, a plane ticket was probably cheaper than this box set. And once again, I'm sure some of you guys are probably just like, why is he getting so worked up over this? Like, it's just a little bit of damage for the first one. And then, you know, it's just a box set, whatever. The reason I'm getting so worked up is because I, really wholeheartedly do not want you guys to purchase this item. It's gotten kind of popular because it looks really cool. It started out on Reddit. Uh, I don't know how Unbox found it, but I found it from Unboxed and he has a video on it. It's a really cool, it's a really cool product. Don't get me wrong, but the stress you're going to have to go through if it doesn't come, if it comes damaged, which it most likely will come damaged, it's, it's not worth it. It's absolutely not worth it. This is actually so shitty that I actually have to make this video. I would have loved to make a video of like telling you guys you should buy this, how cool it is, because like I said, it is a very cool box set. It's very unique, especially for a small box set, but it is just absolutely not worth the, the effort that you're going to have to put in to return it. And also like, let, let's be honest, if you buy this and you're going to have to, you end up returning it, it's $60 out of your pocket. And, and that's definitely, even if you get the money back, it's not going to come back immediately. So Unless you have $60 to just blow, don't even risk it. If you guys want to watch an actual review just because you're curious, I'll link Manga Unboxed's video in the description. Check that out because I'm not even going to show this thing off. I don't want I don't want you guys, I don't want to be the one who, who gathers your interest to be able to go out and buy it. And if you do decide to buy it, well, best of luck to you because I've had none. <laughs> Amazon Italy, you are horrible at shipping. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I will catch you guys later.